What's good with it, YouTube? It's Carfee. Back at it with some news. Y'all know what it is, man. We got a few topics to get off into. And first things first, you see we're talking about this alleged UFO footage. I'm calling it alleged because I don't know, man. I I think it's kind of funny style. I want to know what you guys think. You see this just from a few days ago at a school in Missouri. And um, I don't know, man. Wifey, you know, she's a UFO paranormal true crime mystery enthusiast i am myself a little bit but not as much as her and she's saying i don't know maybe maybe this thing could be legit i don't know to me it just feels funny style the way that thing just vanishes like that i don't know what do y'all think jump in the comments let's talk next up man this whole uh Dahmer series i made a video about this the other day i just can't believe like this you this Netflix series, I'm gonna say YouTube series, this Netflix series is like the numbers is up, everyone's watching it, and you know, a lot of people are finding out about Dahmer for the first time ever through this. You know, this guy was a sick son of a bitch. We we know this. Like disgusting. It, there's nothing the bit funny about this at all. It's sick, it's twisted, it's crazy he got away. Um, you know, with all this disturbing ish he was doing for as long as he did especially when you hear the story and you see how many times he was like right in the grasp of the police hell he even had people complaining on him like saying hey they seen suspicious ish you know from dude and the, the police again dropped the ball that's what i was talking about in my other video the police blocked up and um they should have had to pay money out to the victims for real. They flocked up bad. But what's going on here, what everyone's talking about is uh, the, the there's a couple artists, uh, Kesha, Katy Perry, Eminem, probably other artists songs who are, are now their lyrics are all in question because they reference Jeffrey Dahmer. Eminem is from Bagpipes, from Baghdad, and I guess a couple other tracks. Katy Perry, the Dark Horse track, which it's actually not Katy Perry who references Dahmer. It's Juicy J that was featured. Y'all know what I'm talking about on the verse. He says something like, she's a beast. I call her karma. She eats your heart out like Jeffrey Dahmer, some ish like that. And then uh, Kesha, I'm, I, I, I don't know Kesha like that. I know that TikTok song. That's about it. Um, she had a song, I guess, called Cannibal that says... Your little heart goes pitter patter. I want your liver on a platter. That's disgusting. Uh, be too sweet and you'll be a goner. Yeah, I'll pull a Jeffrey Dahmer. I eat up breakfast and lunch. Then when I'm thirsty, I'll drink their blood. That's twisted, uh, Kesha. Like, I, yo, I wonder if this track appeared before on all those conspiracy Illuminati ritual videos that used to jump off all the time in the blogosphere but what do y'all think about this um you know people are calling this stuff um disgusting disrespectful um i mean music is art there's a lot of wild ish out there um, especially like yo horrorcore hip-hop is just jumping in my head as i'm speaking about this like a lot of wild sick references in there um I don't know, but what do you guys think about this? My daughter was like, Dad, because uh, she's the one that actually originally filled me in that this was like a trending thing going on right now. She's like, Dad, no one's going to care about this ish in a, in a couple months. And I don't know. What do y'all think? Is she right? Developing now a 17-year-old boy and a 32-year-old woman under arrest in connection with the murder of rapper PNB Rock. The rapper whose real name is Rakeem Allen was gunned down two weeks ago at a South L.A. chicken and waffles restaurant, Roscoe's. LAPD says the gunman demanded the rapper's jewelry and then shot him in front of his girlfriend. Tonight, police are looking for a third suspect, Freddie Lee Trone. He's the father of the 17-year-old, considered armed and dangerous. Tigers believe the teen killed the rapper and then his father drove the getaway car. All right, man, you guys see this uh, or you hear that clip. PMB Rock, R.I.P. to him once again. You know, um, we've all been reacting to this news for like a week now since he was killed. It's so sad. It seems so senseless. Um, I still wonder why his, uh, his his girl posted that pic. You know, I've brought this up numerous times. How he referenced 
getting pressed in LA on that academics video and that his chick was with him. And from everything's telling me that this is the same girl. Like, why would she do that? She should know better. Um, I was hearing them on No Jumper talking about how, like, when you're out with your girl, when the food comes, boom, got to put that thing on social media. It's got to go on Instagram. It's got to go on a story. Like, that's just a part of uh, life nowadays, I guess, you know, and uh, reportedly women are big on that. I don't know. Comment and let me know what y'all think, if, if you would agree with that. But we got uh, a couple individuals in custody. You hear it, guys. What is like? It's a family affair. That's wild to me. Right. What do they say? The family that robs and kills together stays together. I don't know. Um, the 17 year old son is in jail. He's a juvenile. So, you know, his name is like not being released in the press. Um, the the girl, which um, I guess like the dad's on the run. What's his name? Uh, Freddie Lee Trone. He's on the run. He was the getaway driver in Chantel Trone. She's in custody charged with accessory to murder. But this is the question to me. We all thought, and there was a lot of reports even after these arrests coming out, that the post is how they became aware of PMB Rock there, that he was flossing. And, you know, uh, reportedly the, the son just went in there. Ain't that crazy? That, like, however, they ended up trying to rob pmb rock and ended up killing him they send the son in there that's fucked up like you know what i mean come on it, like it's it's a messy disturbing picture period that a family is going out robbing and killing a rapper but it's like it, on top of it already being a fucked up situation it's like fucked up that they send the kid in there to do the you know, to put in the work, you know what I mean? But um, again, like uh, reports are now and even police are saying we feel that the Post may have alerted them to, you know, that PMB Rock was there shining with the jewels on. But then there's reports uh, being put out that they were in the parking lot when PMB Rock pulled up. So I don't know. You guys are going to have to stay tuned. Make sure you all are subbed up to me. Um, to, for these updates and everything but if they were already there because that that is being put out there that they were already there waiting when they pulled up that means they had the drop on them that would mean that the post didn't matter i don't know but um it's just crazy to think that a family is all being charged with this that's insane dad's on the run stay tuned for more updates i wonder how they caught him too did they get the plate or what that would make sense that they got the plate from surveillance because like i said it's it's being put out that they were already there waiting so i don't know why this whole post keep, keeps getting brought up because if they're already there the post is mo a moot point rest in peace out to the legendary coolio 59 years of age passed away reportedly a cardiac arrest not a lot of info out there quite just yet a lot of people are theorizing that substances played a part again i'm not saying that's what happened people are theorizing that as you know there's word that coolio had just been at his friend's house the day before went live um i don't know but then i was over on his instagram and i saw that he went live at some kind of performance but there's this narrative going that he went into the bathroom at his friends and never came out. So people are theorizing there was substance involved. Again, I'm not saying that's a fact. So don't think coffee's spreading false narratives. We talk about it all on this channel. That includes in a situation like this where we don't know what exactly happened. People are talking. We got to talk about what they're saying and, and break it down and see if we think it's true or not. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, but we're going to wait and see what the word is. Um, 59 almost 60 uh heart you know cardiac arrest like who knows things could be genetic it could be whatever but i'm just saying you know i was talking about this a little earlier on my live thanks everyone who did, did indeed pull up um guys 
we got to get in the gym. We got to get our cardio game up. There comes a point in time where we all got to do that and watch what we eat and everything. But um, sad situation to see this legend go. For those who've been following Jay Coffee Talk for the longest time, Billy Joe voice. I'm sure you guys all remember back when I was covering a lot of that ish going on in the YouTube prison community. Y'all remember Coolio was flucking with the wicked one. But then when he found out that he was wicked, he said, hell, hell no. Hell no, I ain't co-signing your funny style weirdo ass. Go burn in hell, you weirdo bitch. And, um, you know, I always respected for him for speaking out about that. You know, and he, he wanted everyone to know he had no idea. Because we saw a lot of other people, like, out moving around with him. Right. You guys remember that there was individuals that were out moving around L.A. with them, sharing rooms with them. And then when they like people pointed it out and everything, you know, originally, like later they wanted to diss and act like they didn't know. But then there was screenshots arising like, oh, no, I'm just trying to do me and blah, blah, blah. Like, nah, you knew. Right. I don't think Coolio knew because when he knew he made it a point to say, I don't fuck with the wicked, not by a long shot. I'm not a wicked son of a bitch. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I respected that about him. Um, obviously, Gangsta's Paradise. Uh, I'll see you when you get there. That song like clicked in my head when I heard about his passing. That was a fire track. Um, obviously, we know he been in the game a long time. What did you think of Coolio as an artist? There's a big debate going on. Was he pop? Was he a gangster artist? Like, what did you think of him and think of his music? I, I respected the dude. And um, it's just sad to hear that he passed. So uh, rest up, King. Um, comment all your favorite Coolio tracks, your memories, all that. Let's talk about it below. Last on the news to close things out, man, we're talking about Kanye West. He's always in the news. No, we're not talking about some Kim Kardashian reality show as ish. We're talking about Ye, I guess, reportedly, you know, testing the market. Or his catalog. We're seeing a lot of artists selling their catalog, which I don't know what to make of this. What do you guys think of this? Why are artists all doing this? Because from my understanding, it's always good to have your catalog, your publishing. We hear about this all the times with rappers signing bad deals, selling their publishing when they don't know what they're doing, like Diddy and the Locks and all these other artists still trying to get their publishing back. A lot of these artists are selling them. Like we just saw Future reportedly sold his for high eight figures that's some serious brethren right there but uh with yay listen to these numbers reportedly his um publishing catalog generates 13.25 million a year but i guess when you break all that down and they subtract all the featured artists on the tracks um, the sample clearances and ish that they got to pay off. Like, I thought when you get a sample cleared, you pay a one-time fee. Reportedly, on, on some of these um, situations, you're paying every time it generates revenue. I don't know. But when you subtract all that away, it's only like $5 million, Okay? And I don't know why the formula for selling publishing is they're saying times 35. Like, so... I guess that's what these artists are going by 35 times their yearly publishing revenue. Um, so when you do what, five times 35, that's a lot of money. What, like, I, I don't know. That's the whole question here. Like, what is Ye's publishing really worth? Will he sell it? Um, you know, this is a big talk going on right now in the music um, blogosphere news cycle. Um, and yo, something I forgot about. Yeah, I forgot that he got a collab out there with Sir Paul McCartney. That's pretty epic, man. But what do y'all think, man? Will Ye sell his publishing? Why are all these artists selling their publishing, their catalog? What do y'all think? Let me know. But um, that's going to close this video out. Get up in the comments. Let's talk about all these topics. Don't forget to sub up and stay tuned. More videos coming all day, every day. Jay Coffee Talk, blogging, sports, music, news, current events life and much more and i'm gone